tell us in the comments. Don't forget to hit the like button and share this video with everyone you know. Um, programs or one of the projects is this is actually in bar one of the barangays in Barangay Tulongatung, Zamboanga City. It is a relocation site for Zamboanga siege victims. So if you heard of the Zamboanga siege, um, it was way back in 2013 and people were displaced. So with this, um, we don't just want to um, inject farming into into them, into their communities, but we also want to empower them. So it's a farm method, they're already the ones managing it. You see, right now they're doing a community hydroponics where um, they grow their, you know, lettuce on water. That was really amazing, right? They can do it. And then when I when I visited that area, it was the first time I visited the area. I think uh, I think that was last month in December. And then they were so um, beaming with passion when 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 they were thought about this uh, the the hydroponics. And then they were there were a lot of a lot of questions. And I think one important aspect of doing community project is that we don't make them feel that they are beneficiaries, but we want them to make them feel that they are partners. They are the owners of this project, right? Because people have been telling, you know, oh, beneficiaries, namin, ganito, here are beneficiaries. But, you know, this is what reason why projects don't prosper. Because we label them as beneficiaries instead of labeling them as partners and owners of their own project. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Makes sense. Um, uh, in Don Pablo or in some Memorial High School, it is um, 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 it is one of the like um, school garbage dump site before like that. Parang it's one of the idle spaces that they don't usually use. And then we tried to utilize that space. So the school micro farm, <laughs> micro farm utilizes idle school spaces into production hubs while teaching students on urban agriculture and agro enterprise. Because I think students um, don't actually venture sa mga bulayan sa paaral. Marami kasing tumatakas, alam ko. Mm. <laughs> Teka, lakad pa ako yung mga tumatakas dyan. Sa mga high school friends ko, kaya lang ako yung mga tumatakas. Wala <laughs> kayo kay ate. Wala <laughs> kayo kay ate. Yun. Because parang feeling nila, um, they're just doing it for the sake of grade, doing it for the sake of completion. But what if we teach these children and how to venture other enterprise and how to monetize their produce, right? Parang, you know, kasi kids, if there's money, parang, let's go, let's go, girl. Parang, like, <laughs> yeah. Let's, it's all about, like, you know, in, it's another school micro farm project where um, the hydroponics lettuce is being ano, used. We actually use, um, you know, mga gamit na styro, styrofoam. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Because one of the you no know, major um um pollutants in the sea is you know styrofoam. So instead of just throwing it out, why not just use it for hydroponic setup? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we mm -hmm. use that. Right. Yeah. Next slide. Yeah. And so um in the school micro farm a learning site, what we want to inject or the components are the following: sustainable agriculture, urban farming, agro enterprise, and financial literacy. J just like what I'm saying a while ago, parang pag walang pera hindi kami pupunta. Parang parang pag walang pagkain yeah. type hindi kami pupunta. Yeah. <laughs> Parang it's about time for us to teach these children how to become financial literate while teaching them urban farming. Yeah. Yes. At an early age, kailangan na yan. Yeah. No, already. <laughs> yeah, it, it's about time for us to make ipon. Like, simula kasi siya sa isang barangay, yung, yung, yung community food garden. And then, when people, when other SKs or barangay so parang, yung ganda naman nun, parang gawin din natin sa barangay natin. Parang, parang ganun. Parang, they, they, they started to reach out and then, it, it's so nice just to see the SK helping each other. Na parang pumunta ka ka sa kids farm, parang they're gonna help you like that. And then, it's so nice to see them empowering other barangays, not doing competition. It's, it's really nice to see those kinds of collaborations and empowering. Parang that's what we need right now. Parang hindi tayo pagalingan ng barangay. Parang yata. You know, it, it, it's we need just to amazing. Collaborate talaga. Yes. Yeah. So right now we already have. Um, from the uh, different barangays, uh, community food gardens from Tumaga, Santa Maria, Divisoria, Sana Segusu, Pasanang, Kain Sinunuk, and there is more to come. So uh, they, they are youth managed community food gardens. So we empower the Sangguniang Kabataan to address local food security and sustainable livelihood by providing them actually technical material, technical and material support to SKs to establish their local community food gardens. So 
of course, um, ang, 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 ang Feeds of Farm kasi we cannot stand alone. So, we also have the city agriculture in helping us um, with the seeds and all and all the materials that we need. Right? Thank you so much for that, the city government and city ag. We really, really appreciate it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, next slide. Seed became a, to, uh, was out of a forefront of food security solutions in the time of pandemic. Right? So, parang, um, think, I think that would be the last slide right now. Our last slide, and this is why you know in the Kids to Farm, we aim to make farming fun and easy because we want the youth to become at the forefront of the food security problems in the time of pandemic. So, yeah, Great. thank you so much for listening to me, and I think we have the last slide. Yeah, next. there you go. Ayan, thank you so much, Amina, for sharing your projects. So, amazing, ganda ng mga projects, and kudos uh, to the SK in Zamboanga City to all the um, SK actually the SK Federation itself congratulations uh, and also Kids Who Farm you've, you've done a lot to to help with food security if you have any questions for Amina send us an email kidsufarm at gmail.com you can also send us a message via our Facebook page at Kids Who Farm and in our um, Instagram. We're, we're all over the place, you know, because, you know, in social media, you can just um, send us a message and all. If you have the intention to um, to um, to volunteer, to become part of our organization, we need more hands, we need more minds, we need more mouths to speak, you know, to yeah. spread the word to the people. Okay. There you go. So again, just reach out to them. Make a difference in in your life. Uh, how do you think it has helped you make make a difference? Yeah, it, it made a difference in a lot of aspects for me. Because, you know, as an advocate, I believe that uh, the journey or the path through our advocacy is always a learning process. So we don't become like doctors of our advocacy, like, oh, no, doctor in advocacy. <laughs> There is always a room for learning in 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 advocacy in our advocacies. And before Kids Who Farm, kasi, I really knew less. I was an environmental advocate in general, but specifically, I was on marine conservation projects when I was 16 years old. I was doing coral coral researches for uh, researches for corals or alternative coral reefs and such. And also, I was doing hydroponics and aquaponics um, researches, but. Um, I really didn't know much more about farming because I was geared on specific studies lang talaga. But when I when I when I saw kids to farm, it really helped me learn a lot of concepts. Because parang as we were doing sessions, I was also learning, and I believe that's what that one part or one vital part of being in an organization is to actually learn. And kids to farm helped me to actually learn that. It also helped me to become grounded to communities. Parang it, it pushed me out there to learn more about their stories, um, why why they're here, and then what frustrates them and such. Parang um, kids to farm became an avenue for me to reach out to the communities and it also became a platform for me to learn a lot of things that I don't know more about. So it enabled me to appreciate farming much more because I'm also a guilty person. I really didn't want to venture farming before. I really didn't I, I really thought that farming is a you know a dirty job. It's always I I, I don't want to be under the sun. But because of Kids Farm, it all changed right like now. It, it enabled me to empathize with people. It enabled me to empower more communities and inspire more young people. Mm-hmm. Right. I love that. I love it. Um, to say, or if you want to promote anything, there are upcoming projects with Kids Who Farm, or you can blast their social media, or mag shout out ka to anyone. <laughs> Go ahead. Yeah, so, so, hi everyone. Again, this is Amina, and I'm from Kids Who Farm. So, um, I just hope that you will continue to help us mainstream farming and making farming fun and easy through sharing. Um, you can you can actually do something by sharing our posts, our social media platforms, because you know digital volunteerism is the new thing right now. Not just because you're there, just sitting there, you cannot do anything, but you can actually, you know, um, share the word. Also, to all the people, um, as we as we venture, or as we um, establish our community food gardens, we also need um, um, use plastic cups. Um, use um, uh, plastic bottles and stuff. You can actually donate it to, to us. Actually, I just wanted to um, give a shout out to one of the um, uh, one of uh, the coffee sh- coffee shops here in the Monga City because they donated their unused cups um, to us. Because they they um, they actually um, undergone um, rebranding, so their cups are already 
cannot be used already because they already have a new logo and stuff. So they donated like hundreds of cups to us to be used to establish the community food garden. So shout out to Coffee R and also to other coffee shops there who wanted to share um, their unused cups. You may share them to us and also to individuals who have a lot of you know waste right there, plastic plastic cups, plastic bottles. You can share it to us. Just send us a message and also. Um, Right now, what we can do is that we had just have to change our perspective. You know, we just have to make to 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 see farming in another lens. We have to see that farming is actually fun and easy. Yeah. So that's it. That's my word for the youth. Thank you so much, Amina, for coming on making a difference. Stay tuned for the next episode. Only here on V eighty one Radio, Manila.